All right, Shalom. Shalom, giving all praise going on unto Yahweh, Bashmael, Ashab, Bashir, and Kaka Dash. Double honors to the apostles, and it was a great millstone. Peace and blessed to the hopeful elect, to be desired one with another edifying lesson through the Spirit. And uh, what I have here is a book, which I went to this book before. This is called The uh, Piscov Icons, or um, pretty much the uh, Russian Icons. It's a pretty big book uh, from the uh, 13th. See, 13th to 16th centuries. It's kind of worn. I got it uh, used, cheap book, about eighteen dollars. Uh, but this is it here. All right, the Piskov icons, 13th to 16th centuries. All right, and uh, all these different icons, pretty much depicted in this book, are the pictures of uh, Israelites. Okay, so-called black people. You know, but we've been taught over the years. All right, that um, the people of the Bible were so-called white people. And, you know, I like going into this book, you know, because this information is, is uh, pertinent to, you know, the faith. You know, otherwise it wouldn't be used, you know, it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be out there. Um, let me see, I had a couple of pages here that I did want to grab. All right, this is one of them here. Okay, um, let's see. Yep, here we go. Um, and these are clearly, you know, clearly uh, so-called black people. <clears throat> Bear me one second. Just mute this. <clears throat> All right. Um, but yeah, you know, so there's plenty of icons and different pictures that are depicted in this book um, of us uh, so-called blacks here in America actually truly being the Israelites. You know, these aren't depictions of uh, Africans, you know, the, uh, 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 the, you know, the Egyptians, the people of Sudan, you know, these aren't the Ethiopians, you know, whether you want to call it Abyssinia or, or Kemet. Or Kush, these aren't these people. These are us over here in America. All right. Um, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, so called African Americans, West Indians, and Haitians. All right. These are the pictures of us because we are those same people in the Bible. Um, along with the uh, so called North American and Hispanic tribes, but it was mainly Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, those three. So called, so called Negro tribes that were um, in Jerusalem and ruling over Europe, and not just uh, Eastern Europe but Western Europe, on into Russia and Asia as well. Now this is uh, it says Our Lady, the Great Panagia Orans Miroskaya, second half of the 16th century, copy of a 13th century icon. Okay, now. When you go into the history, when you go into uh, uh, what they call the medieval ages or the middle times or what's known as the dark ages, you know, they say that it was a time of darkness because, you know, understanding and knowledge wasn't uh, that common amongst the people. You know, you had people like Galileo and and uh, Galileo and Copernicus and the Renaissance, and then that's pretty much when knowledge was increased back into the earth. But that was Esau's rebirth, all right? The word Renaissance going into the um, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th centuries on into now, that was the rebirth, Renaissance, um, re meaning back, okay? And the science goes into birth, all right? Um, birth back again that was the rebirth of the so-called white man ruling over the earth again but prior to that all right he was in his dark ages that was the time for him when his you know the roman empire fell uh we had set up which was the pay the um where the pagan roman empire fell but you had what was called the uh holy roman empire on into the byzantine empire in that era during the dark and middle ages um, where well, you get these stories of King Arthur and Camelot and Merlin and, and, and 
you know, uh, uh, St. George and the Dragon, and, you know, that era of uh, Christian mythology and um, also, you know, the Crusades, and, 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 and that's also when Islam started as well. All that, that whole time period, that thousand years from around the time that that, that Rome fell, around uh three, three twenty three B.C. I mean uh eighty with the rise of uh, Constantine into the uh thirteen hundreds, fourteen, fifteen hundreds. That that thousand year period was the time period where um the Israelites were ruling. Okay, now this image here, I read about the image. During the 13th century, this was the time when so-called black people were ruling in Europe and Russia. And you can see that these are not so-called white people. Okay? All right? So-called white people don't paint themselves as brown-skinned people. And you can see the color. It's clearly red. You got black. All right? You have the halo. All right? And then you have so-called dark-skinned people, black people. Who who painted these images? Okay? All right, who painted these dark skin images? Now there's more. All right, there's a one. There's there's more. All right, all right. So when they do these movies like Braveheart and 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 these different historical you know pictures and movies and blockbusters in Hollywood, all right, they're not putting the accurate images up on your screen. So-called white people weren't painting pictures of, of of black people all around Europe and Russia. Okay. Usually, you know, when you paint a picture, you're going to depict yourself and how you look. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is um, St. Perisive Platnitsta, St. Barbara, and St. Juliana, right? Women, late 14th or early 15th century, and all so called black women. Because going back to the scriptures, you had uh, women in. in in the uh, church, all right? You had Paul and uh, Timothy and Peter. They all talked about, you know, women in the church, how they should adorn themselves with modest apparel. And that continued on as the Holy Roman Empire and the Christian religion, you know, as the Bible spread across um, Eastern and Western Europe on into Russia, all right? So this is, you know, what you have here. Okay. Um let me see what this is. All right now you got more images. So called black men, the, the uh prophets. This is the intercession, fifteenth century. Uh the intercession. Detail Andrew the Fool and Euphinius, John the Baptist, John the Divine, and the, and the Apostle Peter. So our people have always been into painting themselves and drawing themselves. I mean, who are the greatest artists on the earth? Look at, um, um, his name escapes me right now, but he's, he, he's probably one of the most famous black artists of all time. If not the, uh, uh Basquiat, Basquiat, so-called black man, Basquiat. And, uh, I believe he died in the eighties, but he was a prominent black artist and he painted a lot of, um, the, uh, urban pictures and, you know, certain pictures of uh, his time during the 70s and 80s, okay? You know? And by the way, our people are always straighten our hair, okay? Even today, our people straighten their hair. Um, even when you read the scriptures, it, it, it talked about Absalom having um, long hair, okay? Now you have here, the Apostle Luke from Medesis Tier, late 15th century. It's only until the 1400s. You had, now this is clearly so called black man, you know? This is like a, um, you know, one of the brothers in the camp. <laughs> you know, afro, beard, holding the Bible with a garment. Okay? Because this is our heritage, man. All right? Same thing here. You know? These images. You know, like like the uh, I was going to say, uh, um, art imitates life. Well, this is the artwork that they painted during this time. So, who was living? Who was wh whose life were these pictures depicting? The life of the people that were drawing these pictures and ruling at the time. 
Um, I think there was a picture of a, I had a picture of a, maybe a prince. You know, one of the people of the rulership. And these are, you know, scriptural images. All right. Paintings at the time. All right. It says the raising of uh, Lazarus. And that's Yahweh Shai. And that's Lazarus being raised up. All right. And, they're, you know, they're laying at his feet. Okay. Because that was one of his, uh, Yahweh Shai's close friends. Trying to see if I can get that picture. All right. You know, there's more so-called black people, Israelites, all right, with, you know, with afros, beards. Same thing you see on, on the uh, street corners today, okay? Same thing you see. Let's see here. We got more, all right? St. John the Divine, mid-16th century. All right, Let's see who was this here? St. John Chrysostom, mid 16th century. All right, that doesn't look like the current Pope to me. It doesn't, it doesn't look like any one of these uh, cardinals in these Catholic churches. All right, they look like Israelites. Okay, the Hebrew Israelites, you know. Where everybody loves to hate, but when you look in history, it tells a different story. It, all right, it proves that what we are saying is true. Okay. Now I want to get. Let me see if I can find this picture. It's, it's a lot of images. A lot of images in this book, man. Brothers with long beards, afros. You know, I believe that's a uh, King David. Let's see here. I don't think it's I'm not sure if it says specifically image. All right. I did want to find that image. Maybe I lost the page. But it was basically an image. Matter of fact, let's see if I can go into the bibliography and find it. If not, that's all right. That's all right. Um, let me see, I don't think it's in alphabetical order. But yeah, so you get the point. You know, you see all these different images of these Israelites here. Oh, here we go. Matter of fact, this is one of the pictures I was looking for. You know, the Spirit allowed me to find it. But you can see it here. Clearly, so-called black man, woman. Let's see. This is the uh, the nativity of the virgin. Okay. Detail. The caressing of the infant Mary. Okay. So, all right. We have the nativity here. So, just know when you watch these Hollywood movies, you know, this is, you know, the depiction of Hollywood. It's not the depiction of of um, truth. You know, these are all ancient paintings from six, seven, eight hundred to a thousand plus, fifteen hundred years ago and more. All right, but I, you know, I I just want to show these um, these images. Um, I don't have my Bible out with me, but the uh, scripture, you know, first scripture that comes to mind is uh, Romans eight and sixteen. The Spirit bear witness without spirit. That we are the children of the Most High, okay. Uh, we got uh, Jeremiah eight and one, and you saw he digs these things up, whether it's bones or, and you know he uh, he digs these things up, whether it's bones or or or, or artwork or, or buildings and pottery and artifacts that he finds to see what was the ancient world like, and you know he found these um you know, different paintings and artwork in the cathedrals in Russia. And this is what these people look like, you know? Um, so I just want to bring that out. Uh, giving all praise, glory, and honors unto you. How about you, Shai, about you, Kakudash. Give honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom.